Yeah, he got scared and left the lights on up there. So obviously it was visibly unsettling and disturbing the residents upstairs. Definitely. That's not you? No. It's that chair. He did tell us that apartment A is the apartment that has the most activity. It made it about made my heart stop. I think we all jumped about two feet in the air. <laughs> Me and my wife's heard people walking up there when there's nobody up there. Okay, that was clear footsteps right out in the hallway. I got chills, dude. That sounded just like arches. Swear something just now touched the back of my leg. It felt like something just touched the back of my leg. Have you ever been touched in here? What was that? Did you hear that? I heard yeah. something. I don't know. For some reason, I'm like on edge. I don't have an explanation for how that could be possible. That is probably one of the craziest things we've we've had happen. Quest is on location here at the West End Antique Store. Many people believe that spirits can actually attach themselves to items that's been used throughout history. What better place to communicate with these spirits than an antique store? The owners of this building strongly believe that it is haunted. The many claims of activity over the years from footsteps, movement, poltergeist-like activity. So we can't wait to get in here tonight and hopefully talk to somebody, have a conversation. Just here in a few minutes, Roger, the owner of the antique store, is actually going to tell us a little bit about the history of the place and give us a little interview here. All right, well, Roger, here we are at West End Antiques. What can you tell me about the history of this store? It was built in 1924 by a fellow named Davis, and it was originally opened as a store and he lived in one of the apartments upstairs. So originally kind of like a general store type situation. Yeah, grocery store. Now, about what year did it change over to selling antiques? Oh, we just, I just bought it in 98. Okay, a little over 20 years. Right. As far as the apartments upstairs above the store, aside from the original owner, who would have been living upstairs? Over the years, quite a few different people. And when I first bought the building, I rented it for about 10 years, but I had trouble and I just quit renting. Now, has there any been any kind of tragedy associated, associated with the location, uh, perhaps anyone passing away or? Not as far as I know of, but I was born in 1950, so the building was here for 20 some, 30 years before I come along. What do you experience in the store and upstairs in the apartments that seem a little out of place, a little strange? Me and my wife's heard people walking up there when there's nobody up there and heard doors shut and that kind of thing. But the people that's lived in those apartments, especially one apartment up there, there was three different families told us about cups of coffee that would materialize, even when they didn't have coffee made. And, and they spilled it on. And they spilled it. And uh, they heard doors open and people walking. There has to be something to that because none of the three families ever met or knew each other. In fact, one of them was from Alabama. It's just kind of strange. Now, I never seen anything. Of course, we never lived upstairs. But there was three different families told the same story. And the, the footsteps, the, the doors, the sounds of movement, it's just very random. It can happen anytime. Yeah. Do you recall which of the three that had that type of real weird stuff going on? Which apartment you mean? Yeah, apartment A. Apartment A. First one. Was it apartment B that heard it or seen? Uh, th one one yeah. family in apartment B heard people walking and doors opening and shutting, but they'd never seen anything and there wasn't any coffee in there. Yeah, they'd always left their lights on. Yeah, he got scared and left the lights on up there. <laughs> so obviously it was visibly unsettling and disturbing the residents upstairs. Definitely. Have you ever gave any thought about even some of the antiques you have in here and perhaps the history and 
possible energies attached to them? You know, I've heard about stuff like that, but I'm kind of lost. I don't really know anything like that. But yeah, there's stuff in here 200 years old. Roll Holly, you want to clap for us? You want to clap your hands? Beautiful. Okay. We are getting ready to start the investigation here in West End Antiques. We are inside the store. We have a little bit of time before we are going to be unlocked out of the store and led upstairs to the apartments. We're gonna start with a live EVP session, set up the REM pod, see what happens. There's a little bit of a strange vibe in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, after everything's settled down, it feels a little odd. Yeah. To anyone that's in here that can hear my voice, we came here tonight, we wanted to talk to you. My name is Ryan, that's Dave and Polly, and then Jason there in the back. What was that? Did you hear that? Sound like it came from back here. Did you hear that? We're not here to hurt you. If you made that noise, we appreciate it. What was that? That wasn't Jason. Did you guys move back there? What? Did it make a loud noise? No. no. I don't know what that was on. I don't either. Did you adjust your headphones or anything? Mm. Oh, wow. I didn't hear it. What was that? That wasn't Jason? Oh, that was clear as day. Yeah. It sounded like... It sounded like he was moving his headphones. It did. Like adjusting the cuffs. It did. So you guys didn't move at all? No. Oh, right behind me. Yep. Something right behind me. Uh-uh. What was that? Did you hear that? The only thing I can think of is if on these cameras they have that auto IR off. The IR is definitely still on, on that one up front. Yeah, I've got my hand in front of this one. Yeah. And it's not like, because if you get close to them, sometimes they'll just auto shut off. Yeah. Was that someone's stomach? I heard it. it wasn't mine. I didn't hear anything. It sounded like a voice, didn't it, Jason? Uh, yes. Was 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 that someone's stomach? If that was you who was speaking to us, we appreciate it. If there is anyone who wants to come out and talk to us. That's really all we want. We're just here for a little bit of conversation and to learn about your life. You know, Roger gave us permission to be in here. Do you know Roger? There it was again. I heard that. There it was again. Can you make that sound again for us?
I'm gonna look back here. Yeah. Dave? Yeah. Oh, you're back there. Okay. Dude, this is creepy. Did you come up here? No. I didn't even realize there was a second floor. What is it? I'm not sure. There's a device there sitting on that ledge. If you get close to it and touch it, it'll light up. Some lights will flash on it. Can you uh, show them how to do it, Polly? Sure. Dave's in the very back of the store. Be really funny if you could move something over there by him. We think we've heard you a couple times. Could you please let us know you're here? Could you please give us a sign, a sound? Uh, there's a strange feeling, and I thought I heard a couple of very small sounds, but... When we first walked in, it was like a burst of a few things that happened back to back. Yeah. And then it's quieted down a little bit. It sounded almost like two voices, virtually. Yeah. One that, to me, it's like a voice, but right behind you, it's like... Mm -hmm. What was that? Did you hear that? Something like it. It, Yeah, it was right behind me. And then the one that you all heard that sounded... I mean, I heard something too, but it's kind of a little more faint. Was, was that someone's stomach? Do we want to try and turn on the S box and see if we can get anything from that? Yeah, why not? I have a device in my hand that is believed it can actually, we can hear your voice come through. So if you come up and stand next to it and talk, we may be able to hear you. Can you tell us your name? What? Did it say Thelma? I'm not sure. It sounded like Thelma. Can you repeat what your name is? I thought it said my name. My name. Yeah, your name. It wasn't my name. It, it sounded similar, but I, can't, I couldn't tell for sure. I knew. Yeah, your name. Yeah, your name. 
Are you attached to one of the items in this store? Whoa. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? It's just like a, a really creepy whisper over all of that. Nasty. Mm -hmm. That was really creepy. Are you watching us? Let me take a walk back this way with this. It's not not cold anymore. The cold cold is gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just said Dave. Really? Yeah. Are you guys all still standing up here? I'm a little bit over towards the end of where you're going. Okay, I felt I thought I heard someone coming up behind me here. No, we haven't moved in a, in a while. I thought someone was following me around. That was kind of creepy. There may have been. Is there someone following me back here? You know, a few moments ago, Holly and I heard a disembodied voice. It wasn't the spirit box, and it came from the end here of the display. Is there someone following me back here? Is there someone following me back here? What did it sound like? Um, it was male. Um, just one word. I know it wasn't you guys. Ryan was right there, you were up there, and it came from back right back there at the end of the aisle. Just one word. Do we want to reposition a little bit? Yes. Do we want to go to the backpack? Did you say there's a second floor for the store? No, it's kind of like a half thing. Hmm. Well, it kind of looks like an apartment or something. Can you come in here and talk to us for a little bit? Do you own this building? Come on down here and talk to us. Is one of these items in here yours? Hey, Ryan. Yeah. When I went up there, I had a really creepy vibe. Are you getting anything? Yeah, it definitely feels like a different energy up here. It's kind of strange. It just feels heavier. You want to walk up there? It is, it's really weird. So we're not here to harm you. We just wanted to come have a conversation with you. 
There's a lot of items stored up here. Which one do you like the best? Over there in Dave's hand, he has a box that he's holding on to that if you get close and talk to it, we should be able to hear your voice. Can you tell us your name? How do you guys feel about the idea of a, um, until he comes back here in like 15 minutes, because that's about all we have left, a uh, soft abandonment? I'm done for what I December 5th, antique store, a little band in the year, first floor antique store. Reporters going, it's like case in one of the aisles here. Exactly. So we're gonna set up a little bit of abandonment here for this lower level to see if anything happens in the antique store while we are outside. So it's only gonna be about 15 minutes, so we will see what happens. We have a camera down here and a camera in the back storage room. All right, so Roger just unlocked the doors to the apartments upstairs. He went up and unlocked the doors, turned the lights on, and we are ready to enter and start investigating this area that he says is the most haunted part of the building. But I will also say one thing we didn't realize, and as he was coming back out and before he told us we could go in, he mentioned to us, he said, now, this area is also full of antiques. We thought the antique shop was the area that was going to be the only section that was full of artifacts and items that could hold energy or entities with them. But apparently up here as well, I guess there are quite a bit of items as well. So we're gonna walk up here really fast and see what we have to look forward to. So let's head inside. Let's do it. This is a lot. This is definitely already creepier than the store itself. We had some weird vibes in the store, but this right here is definitely creepier. He did tell us that apartment A is the apartment that has the most activity. Do you recall which of the three that had that type of real weird stuff going on? Which apartment you mean? Yeah, apartment A. Apartment A. First one. And we didn't realize this, but Polly had told us a story while we were standing outside taking a break from filming about how a few years ago she was working in her garden because Polly lives right across the alley. And she was working in her garden and she said that she heard the balcony door slam. And it turns out when we told Roger about that story, that's the balcony door for apartment A. And that's very strange because Roger says this is the most active apartment, so. And nobody lives in these. No, no. Or has lived in these in like a decade. Yeah, he said he tried to rent it out to tenants and he had an issue with some of the tenants tearing them up. So he just completely stopped renting them out and now he just uses this to store items that he does not want to keep in the store that he doesn't want to sell just yet. So, and he has a lot. Okay, so back behind me here, we have apartments B and apartment C. So we're gonna go ahead and walk back here and see what they look like. Just the sheer amount of antiques and memorabilia he has is insane. What's this? This, this is B. B. So I'm assuming this is C? Yes. Okay. Yep. B and C. 
Be careful coming through here, guys. We got some crystal on the table here. They just keep going on and on and on. It's crazy. What was that? I heard that. It sounded like a voice, didn't it? It did. Did you hear it, Jason? Couldn't tell if it was inside or outside. Oh, it's crazy. What was that? Hello? It must have been that dog. <clears throat> it's crazy because you think about a lot of these antiques that are up here. Like, I mean, specifically, look at this beautiful Victrola record player. I mean, I'm not sure what year it's from here, but imagine how many times people put music on and played music just to bring joy into their life. Oh, wow, look at that kettle. Oh my gosh, that's massive. Wow. Well, I don't know, what do you think? I think we have three apartments that we have to tackle. We have a lot of space and we already have some creepy vibes and possible strange voices um, that we have to investigate. So I think we should grab the equipment. I think we should come up here and get started. So, we just got back from abandonment. We are now starting the sessions here in the West End Antique Shop. And we are upstairs in the apartments. We're gonna look for some haunted antiques. If anyone's up here. Hello, my name is Jason. This is Polly, Ryan, Dave. What's your name? It's kind of hard for us to see you right now. Could you please give us a sound? Let us know your direction. You mean you no harm? We come with respect? It's a beautiful building. Come out and say, come out and say hello. Back that hallway behind Jason, there is a little round thing on the floor. If you get close to it, it'll light up and make some noise. If anybody's here that wants to play with it or mess with it, you can do that for us. It's just our way of letting, uh, of you letting us know that you're here. Who is it that's always up here walking around? Who is it that Roger and Claudia always hear up here moving around? Me and my wife's heard people walking up there when there's nobody up there and heard doors shut and that kind of thing. We understand you seem to like coffee. There was three different families told us about cups of coffee that would materialize, even when they didn't have coffee made. Do you like coffee? Maybe. 
We should try the kitchen. Yeah. Can someone make us a cup of coffee? Why is it that you dislike coffee? Why do you spill it and knock it over? Can you open that door right there into the hallway? Just push it right open. Roger gave us permission to be up here, so... And he always says he hears you up here. Can you let us hear you? It's very hard for us to hear you, so if you can, Please speak very loudly for us. Did you hear that, Jason? Yes, that yeah. was close. Did you hear that, Jason? Yes, that was close. Sounded like it was right there on the kitchen counter. Mm -hmm. I think someone should sit in that chair that I was in earlier when all that happened. Just sit there by yourself. Yeah, I can run in there and do that. Are you in here with us? Come on, I'm sitting here all by myself. Do you guys want to go try a different apartment while he sits in here? We're going to head down the hall okay. and leave you in here by yourself. Okay. Are you leaving the REM pod there? They're gone. So I'm officially all alone in apartment A. Really bad vibe when I came around that corner. And that room right there. Polly said that as she was sitting up here earlier, you made it really cold in this room. I'm hearing movement to my right hand side. Are you moving over there? Can you, can someone open that door right there for me? Just push it open. It's not locked. I'd love to see it. Was that you? What? I heard a, like a knocking noise over there. No. Are you in here with us?
just so you guys can see how dark it is in here, let me uh, show you what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing with my eyes. All right, so if you're in here with us, can you make a loud sound in this room? Can you make a knocking sound for us in here, please? What's that? Yeah, it was in the corner behind you, Jason. Thank you very much for doing that. Could you try it one more time, please? What's that? What's that? That's not you? No. It's that chair. I'm right next to it. I'm not moving an inch. Is that you we're hearing? That's not you? No. It's that chair. Whoa. My dead light just completely died. What? Those are fully charged. I know. And that was only half power. I know. It just, it's not unplugged or anything. It just completely died. Yeah. That sure. is so weird that that died like that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was fully charged. We've had these last full eight hour investigations, these batteries. Yeah, mm. just like snap, it was off. And we've only been using them tonight for this. This would be the third hour we've been using it. Yeah. And it was on half power for one of those hours. So I don't know. It was on half power for this. Where are you at? Make a knocking sound like this. We've been hearing you walk down there at the end of the hall. Can you walk up to that little red light? I have the mail on and the temperature just went in a matter of like 15 seconds. It went from 55 and now it's down to 51.9. Hmm. Ooh, I got chills. What? Wow. It looked like there was someone standing behind you there for a second. I was just, as soon as you did it, I said that I was just going to say it's feeling on in here. That's so weird. It was right behind you, but it was probably six inches taller than you. Weird. Huh. Are you messing with the temperature in here? If you are, or if you can, can you make it really cold in here? If you're in here, can you drop it down below 50? Keep going. Can you drop it more? That's the lowest you've gotten it so far. Can you, if you try and get closer to that thing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. You know? 
Dave is in the next room over. He would like to speak with you. Would you like to go in and tell him hi? Come on in and sit down with me. Try B or wherever y'all think. Bringing in like a new room on NC here. I think B is pretty much uncharted territory. You want to head over there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there someone following us down this hallway? It's like a cool breeze. It's like ice cold. Mm -hmm. If you're upset that we're in here, can you let us know? It was strange because I was the last one out of that apartment over there. And I was looking down the hallway and I just got this presence of like an elderly lady. And then she came down the hallway at us. And then it felt like I have cold chills so bad. I do too. It's much colder in this apartment. I know, I'm freezing. But it, it felt like she came from that apartment and then followed us up this hall. <clears throat> I don't know why. Are you following me? Can you open the door to the hallway? Did you guys pick up on that at all? I felt really creepy before we turned around. Like it felt really heavy. I was really creeped out before we turned around and started talking about that. Ever since we turned around and addressed that end of the hallway, it started to die down, but. That really freaked me out. I didn't like that. Push that door open into the hall, please. I'm just waiting for like a big old grandfather clock to boring. <laughs> Batteries flashing. Yeah, I'm down to 31 minutes on this one. Do you want to go regroup and get some batteries and... Maybe that dead light battery is charged enough to plug it back into this one now? Yeah. Um, we're recording here. This is really, really... Um, weird. It's really weird. It's unfortunate the cameras weren't rolling prior to this happening because um, we literally just got back. We took a small break after that last session. And Jason was standing here telling us a story about a piece of equipment that he wanted to try and actually purchase or find that is no longer made. And this just about scared the shit out of all of us. Um, the K2 meter, which I can't really see. There's a flashlight behind you there. The K2 meter is laying on the floor right here. Just thrown. We don't even know where it was at. I had set it. Whenever we were done, I had set it on this little metal tray right here. Yeah, it was like right here. Right there. It wasn't even like that. It was it was flat. It was Yeah, it was well, it was like like this way. Yes. Okay. It was like that. And, and you I, were standing right there, Jason. Which is you can see. Yeah. And I just turned to Dave, the gesture to Dave in conversation. Nowhere near it. No, we're near, near it. You can see my leg. I'm, oh, this is all I've done. Now bump your leg into that middle thing there. No. 
No, we didn't even I, hear the table. Right, no. you would hear that, and I didn't do this anyway. No. I've done, and then all we, we hear, bam. I mean, this thing's pretty much broken anyway, but it was just like. Yeah, yeah. it was that loud. Crashing to the floor. That it was, was that loud. That was very strange. And I know that's not something we can claim as evidence for you all. We just wanted to let you know that it happened because the cameras weren't rolling. We can't claim it as evidence, but it is a really weird thing that just happened to us. That was... It, made, it about made my heart stop. I think we all jumped about two feet in the air. <laughs> that, that's, that was really weird. Is there anybody in this room here with us? Who used to live here? If there's anyone here that wants to talk to us, Jason has headphones over there and if you walk up and speak, he'll be able to hear your voice. Sis. Who is Sis? Are you draining everybody's batteries? I think something is because like everything's just tired, you know. One thing after another. Mm-hmm. I know, that's weird. It is this really strange energy in this building. You know, in 20 years investigating, I'm, I don't think I've really ran into anything like this. Not that it's, you know, major, but it's... Strange? Different. Our friend Dave said he felt like there was a lady here. What's your name? The table. Something like that. Hi. Hello. Thank you for that. He's female. Are you the lady that Dave keeps seeing? If you could please, can you come out here in the hallway with us? I heard you knock. Yep. Good. Thank you. I heard that knock and I was gonna say, I just heard a knock on a wall or a table and it said table. That blew my mind, that was creepy. The table. Table. Something like that. And you have all these, you know, like cold spots and, and little cold breezes going everywhere. And, you know, they stay for a few minutes and then they disappear, show up somewhere else. Mm hmm. I've never had so many cold spots at a, at a place ever. I know. It's weird. Are you making it cold in here? You could knock once for yes and twice for no.
Don't be afraid of us. You can move closer to us. Did you live here when there was a general store downstairs? Definitely hearing shuffling down here. Sounds like it's in the hallway. Okay, that was clear footsteps right out in the hallway. Was that you? What? I just heard a whisper. No, I just kind of don't lick my lips. I heard that, but I thought I heard a whisper there. Definitely listen back to that, because I thought I heard a whisper there. Okay, that was clear footsteps right out in the hallway. Was that you? What? Was that you? What? I just heard a whisper. Okay, you walk down the hallway, come in here, sit down with us. I thought I heard some kind of a little faint noise right over here. In the corner? No, it was like we're at this table with the lamps on it. Mm hmm Very faint, but I can't describe it. Can you make that noise louder? Hey, Jason. Yeah, it actually just sounded like a man just said watch or something. What? Yeah. That's weird. Do you want to walk with it and see if we get anything while walking through here? Sure, you want to walk yeah, like, down the hall? Yeah, just take a take a lap down the hall. Okay. That was kind of weird. I screamed Jason. Is your name Jason? Yeah, and it sounded like a male almost sounded like said like, what? Or, or what? Something. It's weird. We're going to walk down the hall. You're more than welcome to talk to us. What's cold? Hi. Hi. Come on in, sit down and talk. Is that okay too? Yeah. It's the blinking. Mm, I think it's broken <laughs> from where it dropped. That was crazy. I know. I mean, that just, like, it was just out of nowhere, and... Anyway, but it was just, like... Yeah, yeah. it was that loud. Crashing to the floor. That it was, was that loud. That was very strange. I was looking right at him, and he didn't catch on anything. No, because you would have heard that table. Mm-hmm. Very loud metal table, tray table. It was just like you said, it was like it was picked up. Mm-hmm. And then... That's, that's, I think... Really crazy. Ten? Possibly. It was a man. Ten? Did you bring us to the kitchen? Female, I believe. Yes? Why did you bring us to the kitchen? Come on in here with us. You're allowed, you're not in trouble.
we're thinking about moving in here. Is that okay? Sounded like 10 again. 10. Male. What do you mean by 10? 10 what? What are you, what are you talking about, 10? 10 what? You keep saying 10. What's it like? What's it like to die? Or what's it like on the other side? floor just vibrated or something underneath my right foot. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. I, uh, I know Roger is in the room with Dave and Polly. Oh, he's up here. Yeah. I heard him come up the stairs and go in there and start talking to them. He's up. He's going there. <laughs> Roger's up and at him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 